YouTube family. Welcome to my channel if I haven't already met you. Welcome and where have you been already? I've been waiting all this time. I have my green tea, I have my laptop, ridiculous top. Sorry, my mum actually bought me this, so I do thank you mum. I don't think she watches these videos. Don't blame her. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to hit that notification bell twice. Don't forget don't forget to hit that notification bell twice, is what I was trying to say. Oh, <laughs> nice agility. Power of love. Beautiful, 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 beautiful singing. So he's very soft, very controlled at the beginning. A bit of agility work there, a bit of riffs, runs. It's a great song as well. Power of Love, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Was that the original one? Sorry if it's not. There's so many, there's like a musical jukebox in my brain all the time. Endless running song. But then what he did, he brought up a bit of power and then you just reined it back in again. So it's just like, takes you on this journey up and down and that mix, full bodied, powerful, just. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James Arthur. <laughs> I remember James Arthur. Did, I don't think you want it though, did you? Did it? Dis right. Distinct vocal this guy has. And I do remember when he was, oh, did he win it? It was so, it feels like such a long time ago now. But I was rooting for him. I remember thinking, you know, he had like an edgy vocal quality. He was he was distinct, he was different. And I liked that about him. I don't think he ever changed who he, who he was to make others happy. Does that make sense? Like he kind of stayed true to his identity. But anyway, let's listen to this guy because he's good. Notice the microphone so close up to his lips. I wouldn't, I usually say, you know, a couple of inches away <laughs> so you can get a bit of clarity and it's not almost like a distorted sound, but Let's have a listen. Wow. Interesting. Pause it out. He's making it so much his own. And I love that. I love the originality and the creativity that is working his magic right now from his vocals. And again, he's like, bring it soft and then whoa, whoa. <laughs> like louder, more flamboyant with the voice, more belt technique there. That's very good. <laughs> Head rasps. And they harmonise together. Wait, that head voice executed rather well. And again, it's very much agility, it's very much vocal gymnastics here. And yes, he is slaying it. I've just realized what he's wearing as well. Mr. Dalton, very, very sexy. <laughs> Wait, it was beautiful. Oh, Louis! Robbie! And that's his wife, right? I've been just so busy on my own Chanel, I haven't had time for the X that hurt. They look very serious, but I think they were literally just absorbed. Let's listen to that a little bit again. Love is 
to know then. That was ridiculous. Uh, oh my god, it's like Dimash's friend. Check out Dimash. <laughs> Excellent, bravo. Wait, I just need to hear that again. Because my body, it goes through stages of feeling things sometimes. It's like a shiver map, a shiver test. Not a test, but it's like a shiver map. I don't know where it's gonna happen. So that was kind of like the arms and pretty much the whole body. But that's, when you've got two of them, one fantastic vocal plus another fantastic vocal, you bring and merge two vocals together that sing together rather effortlessly, rather beautifully. Um, you've got some harmonics they've sung on their own. You get a bit of everything there. And then you get this. <laughs> Close your eyes. Uh, like quite Lily! Oh, why are the others just I can't I would I you do you not feel it? Like you just want to get up and hug them. <sighs> I like the fact they're shaking hands. Good. Oh, you did a little bow. Respect. Okay. Fantastic guys, absolutely explosive performance. I really did enjoy it. it. It's like a storytelling thing again. It's a fantastic song to start with. And I know it's been done quite a few times as well, hasn't it? So it's good to have people put their own spin on things and bring a bit of creativity. I always think if you're gonna sing a song, wait my tea. If you're gonna sing a song, at least try doing something different with it. Sometimes it, it's difficult to kind of do that because you were so stuck in listening to how it's how it how it is how the original song is but if you just kind of like yeah but anyway i think it just comes naturally for some people they just feel how it's going to go and put their own vocal stamp on it so to speak but well done gentlemen both vas vocal athletes <laughs> so he won this guy won that's fantastic well done hashtag never stop singing boys you guys are the bees. And hashtag never stop singing to you guys. And yes, I do vocal lessons. Uh, people are asking me all the time. I don't ever really mention it, but I do. Vo RebeccaVocalAthlete.com, go and check it out. And, al and also check out scaleabout.com forward slash RebeccaVocalAthlete. You want me to give a, a, a critique to your singing? Okay, darlings. But I did notice actually James Arthur, his mouth was kind of like small, wasn't it? It wasn't very large. It's about what you do inside of the mouth and the space you create. This is like important. The embouchure is, is extremely important, but at the same time, if you can create large sounds with a smaller mouth shape, it's all about what you do inside the pharynx and the vocal tract also and the manipulation there of what you, what you can do. Does that make sense? Good, then we're done. Okay guys, remember you're beautiful, you are unique. Embrace your flaws, embrace the good qualities you've got in yourself. Don't listen to the haters. What do they know unless they are in your arena? It doesn't matter what they say because they're not doing what you're doing, darlings. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Take care. Deep breaths. Focus and go. Bye.